Hey, it's Megan Thomas with Black Hollywood Live. We are talking about breast cancer because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month right here at the Beats to Beat Breast Cancer. We're talking about how you take breast cancer, getting rid of that, mixing some good music with all these DJs. It's a great event, so make sure you stay tuned because we're talking to everybody that you need to know. Okay, this beautiful lady that you see next to me is the one and only Issa Rae. Issa, thank you so much for coming to this event today. What does beating breast cancer mean to you? Oh, it means so much. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be a part of this. You know, I just think that something needs to be done. And I'm so proud of, of Ben and DJ Behan for, for raising awareness about this and trying to do as... Because it's, it's a disease that makes you feel helpless. And to, to be able to play some part, to pay some, play some small part in terms of... Uh, making a difference is extremely important. Do you have anybody in your life that's been affected by breast cancer? Absolutely. Currently that we're working through and she's trying to raise the funds independently. Um, and it's just, you know, there's help that's needed. And that's very, very important. Now let's talk about you because you're such a busy lady. I want to tell you this. I love the misadventures of a black girl, okay? I like every week I was tuning in. Yes. To see what was up with J&J, &J, okay? <laughs> so now I know you're doing the series at, called Insecure. It's yes. going to be on HBO. Talk to us about that. Um, we just pretty much finished editing. Um, it's about, it follows me and my best friend, basically, as we turn 30 and just what it's like to be a modern day black woman now. Are there going to be any appearances from people that were on Misadventures? There might be. You got to tune in to the, First of all, we got to get greenlit. And okay. then we'll, you got to tune in to see. So what has the process been like going from doing your own web series and now you're doing a series on HBO, doing a series on TV, working with all these people that you've always heard of and really wanted to work with? You know, it's been a game changer for me in a, in a huge way. You know, when you're creating content online, you're pretty much in your own bubble. You're releasing it and the audience's feedback is just immediate. You'll know whether they love it or hate it. This process has just been a lot more hands on. Like HBO has been kind of a dream partnership to work with um, and that like the notes that they've given have been really really helpful I feel like the script has gotten better and it's just there's more on the line you know there's there's kind of a validation that comes with being on that network so I'm, I'm extremely excited about it who have you not worked with that you would love to work with who have I not worked with that I would love to work I mean I'll, I'm still a huge Tina Fey fan at the end of the day so if that something could pop off there I would love that and there's just too many people. I have a list. I have a bucket list of people that I'm going to stock and work with. I know you like Fetty Wap. Is he on the list, too? I do. <laughs> it's Fetty Wap on your, the list. I'm actually gonna work with. working on a ratchet piece theater for Fetty Wap as we speak. Like, I love him. Yes. He's so romantic. <laughs> He's a romantic man. Is he? He Is brought he romantic. Queen? I mean that. But, like, have, if you listen to the album, it, it like, brings love back better than R&B has. Very J approved, right? <laughs> Very J approved. Okay, so before we get out of here, I know, you know, you've been so busy. There's so many awards that are going on that I'm sure you'll be a part of. What's one award that you've always looked up to and something that you would be so honored to receive? Oh, wow. I mean, just because the Emmys passed and we've just been talking about them, like my director says that she wants a, you know how they have EGOT and it's like the Emmy, the Grammy, the Oscar, and the Tony. Right. And she has her own version called the Got em, and it just includes the MTV Award. And I was like, that's not <laughs> Hey, that's so black of her to do, but I want to got him. Okay, you want to got him. Well, you defi you're definitely on your way to a got him. Make sure you guys stay tuned to Insecure on HBO coming soon. Thank you.